Our final project is creating your own action figures. Whatever play you can imagine, you can create your own figures from ninjas to fairies and everything in between. These are so fun. They're made um, from clothespins and felt. But and you can't even tell. You could make anybody with these. I that, love it. That's right. Katie, tell us what we need to make them. Okay, so we're going to use some styrofoam to create the base. And we're also using styrofoam balls for the face and the head. We have some wooden clothespins. They're that old style with the round ball at the top. Love those for making dolls no and action springs. figures. You're right. And some felt, ribbon, and other embellishments. And you'll need some glue. Perfect. So do you want to show us how to make the base of the figure? Sure. So to get started, what you'll do is take your clothespin and put some glue on the top here and press it onto a small styrofoam ball. And that's going to be the head. So like this. So we're actually making the figure. Yeah, we're going to make the figure. Okay. Here's our guy or gal. And I'll set this aside to dry. And now you're going to make the base. So you'll need a glass and you'll need some styrofoam to press out a circle. So press pretty hard on your glass. Get it started. And you could use any round cookie cutter shape or other sure, shapes, you could. right? Yeah, definitely. But I like this idea of using the glass because it's so easy. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody has one. So then I'll just show you on this one. I already cut this one through and I'm breaking away the extra pieces so that I can get the circle out. And I have a little bit of fuzz here on the edge, so you can just clean this up by rubbing the two pieces together. You can use a scrap for that. And just get off all your little extras. It doesn't really have to be it, perfect, yeah, but that, you're going to cover it up. Yeah. So you have an even surface for gluing. And before you glue your felt, then you'll want to press your clothespin into the middle so that you have a place to put your figure. Okay, so that's there. And then you'll glue this onto red felt or whatever color goes with your figure that you're making. So get your craft glue on the top of your foam. You can spread this around. I'm going to use my finger. Spread this around. Perfect. And then press it onto your felt and use your scissors to cut this out. Then always remember to, to turn your piece, not your scissors, all the way as you go around. Then we'll put some glue on the sides and we're going to cover up the side with more felt. So cut a strip that's the same width as your foam piece. You can layer this right over the top. Looking good. All right, we're getting there. And then you're going to take your finished piece that's already dry and use some scissors to cut here so that you can stand your guy. Yeah, you're just opening the piece back up so that you can get to the foam and stand your Right, so this will fit in here just like that Perfect. once it's dry. Can we get to the super fun part? Let's see the decorating. <laughs> okay. So I've got my little clothespin figure here, and I've gone ahead and printed out some patterns that you'll find on our website. We have patterns for a monster, a ninja, and a fairy, but you can come up with your own clothing as well using these similar patterns. So the first thing we're going to do is add some pants for our ninja. And you do that just by folding your pattern piece in half, and then you have to like wedge in the felt like so. And this is really cool because it makes, when you fold the felt around, I need some thick crafty glue. Here you go. Thank you. So then when you want to line that up evenly and then you're going to wrap this around, add a little bit, bit of glue. Oops. I always forget to open the glue. I know. Me too. So anyway, can you imagine you could do karate people or whatever? Yeah. So you would just put your glue on there like so and then wrap it around. And so all of these little pieces are ones that you traced and cut out right. onto your felt. And like for the shirt, so easy, wrap a tie around. And then I love the arms, how it's just a strip with some hands. Do you want me to hold it while you tie or want me to tie? You can tie. Okay. So you can just tie a knot here at the front like that. Okay, perfect. We can trim. There's a red belt. You can, yeah. <laughs> you can always add um, a second knot, but then we're going to put the mask on. And you can see that I've already used some small scissors to make slits in for the eyes. And then you're going to, he's coming to life. <laughs> there you go. And you're going to do a second little dot of glue. So you can tack it down. There we go. 
Yep, tack it down. And for just details, you can add a second knot piece and we can put some arms on with more glue as well. And his hands kind of go on the him. outside. Um, actually, if you can okay. put the arms on, then we'll be in good shape. And rubber bands would come in really handy here. Yeah, or you to can help use a hold your pieces or some tiny pins. There we go. I just felt sad putting pins into holding my head pieces on. Right. So then from here you would you could leave that open like so, or you could put some glue around and make a whole army of ninjas. I think that is so fun. And we've made so many settings too that you could use these in. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll get this red one ready. And let's talk a little bit about the fairy and how that how she comes together. Okay. So we don't have enough time to make the whole angel fairy ballerina girl, but let's just talk a little bit about how to get started on her. Okay, so you'll need another body. We have our body here. Mm -hmm. Let me move the and, patterns. Yeah, and so all of these pattern pieces are already cut out. Right. But we'll take our craft glue and get the skirt going. Right. And while you're doing that, I'll kind of get the pieces ready to go. I think this part is where your personality starts coming in. Right. And we can just kind of point out some of the differences from the ninja to the fairy. Okay. So, so this, this one, one has, gets... instead of pants, she has her skirt. She's got bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And then I'll add some more glue. Tell me if you need a rubber band, because I have one here. Oh, that's a good idea. And wrap this around to the back. And then we can hold this in place with a rubber band. Right. All right. Voila. Ta-da. And then talk a little bit about the skirt. OK, so the skirt is actually just two, you can see, two little wavy, wavy flower shapes uh, with the center pierced out. And then we've cut a slit on one side. And when you layer the two pieces together, and you could use glue or you could keep them separately so that they have a little bit of, you know, fluff. So then when you wrap them around your clothespin, you wanna grab some glue. Uh, we can just... Tack it down. Tack it down, but the key is to overlap your petal pieces. That's perfect. And the, the little pom-pom wand is really cute too. Uh, oh, adorable.